Petro Zanatakis is the Chief Financial Officer of Motorola. Thank you very much indeed for joining us today. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Let's just talk a little bit about um, the need that Greece has right now for foreign investment and how easy is it in the current climate to attract that investment? A country that is growing and needs to move ahead mm. always needs foreign investment. In particular in the circumstances that Greece needs to move forward in order to cover its debt and to make its GDP grow in order to service this debt, foreign investment is ultra necessary. And how easy is it in the current climate when uh, Greece gets so much bad press internationally to try and attract that investment and to try and, and sell your story? It is not easy. Mm. It's up to us. It's up to us to convince foreign investment that we mean business and that we, we mean what we say that we will do. And how is business going? Uh, because I think a lot of people from the outside really uh, are not quite sure that there is any business being done in Greece right now. How are things going, for example, for you and how affected are you by the crisis? That's a very valid point. There is a healthy business community in Greece as well that has been operating very successfully, I would say, under difficult circumstances for the country. We have been an export refinery selling about 70% of our production outside Greece, only 30 within the country. And we have been taking advantage of our location of being in Greece. Think of Greece with the ancient Greeks and Phoenicians. They were using Greece as a stepping stone perfect to service trading route. perfect trading, to service the greater area. Mm -hmm. So if you take advantage of Greece's location and have a business model that is tight and lean and try to do what you know how to do best, then there is room for you to do well. And when you look at the, uh, the government's austerity measures, and indeed the measures that have been brought in to try uh, to get rid of some of the bureaucracy, the red tape, to help business, is any of that beginning to filter through and kick in and help you yet? Not yet, because a lot of it is still in the planning process. Right. But, and again, you can live outside all this bureaucracy mm -hmm. if you choose to because the minimum bureaucracy that you need to establish and to operate you can still you know, live without it, without the big big state mm -hmm. sector and tell me this have you had to make any provisions uh, for what would happen if Greece were to leave the euro have you had to think that through as a business plan yet we have because in order to be wise you must think of all eventualities even if you don't believe it's going to happen uh, but there isn't any particular additional measures one needs to take. Actually, I wanted to ask you uh, on the oil front about Libya. When do you expect uh, to see that Libyan crude oil uh, being for sale again in Europe? I believe soon, from what we read uh, in the press and from you know, specialized editions, we see that gradually the new regime is taking things in control and, uh, and moving. And so. We believe that soon we will see the crude flowing and the products being welcome again because we are also we were also selling to Libya. Okay, uh, Petros Zanitakos, thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, from Motor Oil and uh, very good luck uh, with your mission of trying to raise some capital. Produce. I thank you very much. Thank you.